Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Z, and today we are continuing our Divide and Conquer campaign as the Vale of Darwinian. Episode 15 we're on now. And I did think this was going to be a rather shorter series, but it looks like it might be continuing for some time yet because, you know, the last few episodes, the Mordor's really has started to have a bit of a fight back, which is quite annoying, honestly. That's more than anything, it is just annoying. But hopefully, when we get rid of Austin Eri and Varfest, then they won't have anywhere to border us apart from here. And if we just come to the Black Gate and take it, I reckon we can hold the Black Gate pretty well with Big Norway over here and a few of these Thorn Guard. Uh, now, we did destroy the Darn Dolgador last time, and we are in Erin Runen with Edwardin. Uh, fighting against them. Hopefully they come and attack us. That would be the best option for us. Um, as well as Norway going after Austin Eri. Lifts coming down here. But hopefully we can get Avalon's Rest happy in a second. And then we can go and attack Kirk... Uh, sorry, Kargukor. I believe that's a new city. Kargukor. Yeah, got double mines as well, which is pretty nice. Uh, and then Baradur is only there, which is not far at all, really, when you think about it. Not far at all. So Baradur is only there, but I reckon we can defend Karakugor pretty easily. The problem being on this side, we have no supplies in terms of troops coming down here. We've got nowhere we can train troops properly all the way up to Strondost. I know we are trying to build in Lest, but yeah, apart from that, we are kind of screwed on that side. So hopefully, you know, we've got a got a bit of extra uh, recruitment hub somewhere. And I think Karkugor could be that. But yeah, at the minute, because of our sort of large open uh, western border, we really can't uh, commit to sticking four or five you know, armies down there, or even a couple of armies down in the south. We've got to still fight on the plains of Darwinian. And they did attack like I thought. So that is fantastic. It's going to be a battle in the forest, which is a bit annoying. But again, these Dolgador boys are Dolgador dogs. And they are generally, so far, touch wood, been pretty trash. But uh, it could all change today. They've got a lot of wags. Unlike us, we don't have a lot of cavalry. You do have Edward in, though, of course, and he is a fantastic general and a great cavalry unit. We are pretty much just going to use this army until it is spent. So, uh, yeah, we, we don't worry too much about problems with this army because they've got to go so far back for retraining that we're just going to use it until everyone is dead pretty much inside here. So let us go and have a fight, and hopefully we can destroy Nuzu. Big Nuzu. Here we are, guys. It's actually not too bad in terms of the trees, which is great for us. We don't really get much of a hill anywhere. A little bit of a mound here. So let's use that to our advantage, of course. Get our archers in there. In fact, let's, in fact, get our archers a lot further forward. And they can come back and we'll protect them with our cavalry if needs be. So let's group all these boys together. Then, of course, I'm gonna, uh, I wish I could move you guys around slightly. Our infantry is quite damaged in here. They have taken a lot of fighting. Very bright, that snow, isn't it? Jeez, very, very bright indeed. We'll get you guys either side. We'll get the privateer axemen on the side as well, ready to go. You guys can come this side. I know you're not great. You're just there for garrisoning, but that's fine. And these archers, they're not going to do much damage in the battle. Ah, uh, they they might as well stay up the front. Uh, and is that everyone, apart from the Avari Naharim, which will get forward ASAP? Well, I'm surprised the Moriquendi Sentinels can't actually fire right now. When the uh, Avari Shadows can. That's very strange. Uh, but that's fine. When you see them, they do have a lot of troops. But you just got to remember that these troops are all pretty much trash. Dolgador scouts, lots of archers. Lots of archers, which are not, you know, 
They're going to do some damage, but they're not fantastic. Hopefully, we can get our crossbowmen in the action soon. Here they go. Off firing away. And then uh, once that's done, once we've got a couple of volleys into them and they start firing, we shall run away. So now that that's done, let's get back here. Let's bring with us these boys. In fact, do we want to just want to leave these guys as like a, a sacrifice? Probably not. That's probably not the best idea we can go for, is it, at this point in time? Uh, I mean, maybe it's not a terrible idea, to be honest. Sacrifice against the scouts. It'll stop them actually firing into us. And we can actually catch two lots of scouts up here if we want to. They're honestly not that bothered about us. <laughs> they keep coming forward, so we'll try and uh, disrupt them slightly. And our archers will get in place to fight them. So let's speed it up. They should be able to fire now pretty nicely. Here come the wargs. Always my favorite unit to deal with. I hate wargs. Foolish wargs. See, the scouts, I don't know what they're doing. Why are they going for the full-on charge? It's a very interesting tactic, I've got to say. I think we can kill those wargs pretty easily with a nice charge. Doesn't look like they're going for a charge. Remember, they are do have a bonus versus cavalry, so we've got to remember that. But we should be able to uh, kill them with Edwardin, of course. Because they're not that strong in actual cavalry melee. They just have that bonus that makes them seem a lot better than they are. So a lot of the wargs have actually gone in for the kill down the middle against the Avari Spearmen. They're firing some javis into the Moriquendis, some of our best units. How are these wargs doing? Yeah, they're nearly dead, which is great for us. Orc Maulers are on the way. Some more Orc Fighters. But look at this. Look how many, how much of this army is archers. Does really go to show that the Dolgador roster is very, very archer heavy. And the AI loves. I'll go kill that Mirkwood bodyguard if you can. So you boys, these Orc Maulers should be easy pickings for the men. So I think our Privateer Axemen should go after them. Edward in, get out of there, my friend. That's not the fight for you today. And who's going to try and fight these guys? Let's go and try and fight the Mirkwood Goblins. And let's come through with these men. I think we can go and have a go at the Orc Hunters. No point leaving them just to fight on their own. And just fire their javies away, is that? Get into those Orc Hunters. I don't want to deal with them. Now, where are my cavalry? Here are the Orc Maulers. Let's get into them. Let's go, boys. Come on. Don't stand back. Don't be fools. Edwin should hopefully get a nice charge off. They're already shaken. God, the morale of these guys is terrible, 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 terrible. Edwin just has a standard rally. That's one of his main problems. Is His rally is just the standard rally, which is never uh, fantastic when you can get some really good rallies, which are very different. These Maulers should get absolutely mauled by this. Pun intended, of course. Oh my days! More than half of them killed on that charge. That is what we're here for, boys. That is what we are here for. Let's go. Let's get our guys out now. So, these guys, these orc fighters think that they're hard, but they're not. Let's go after them. Let's go take out some of these archers. They're going to be easy to rout. How are we doing over here? Just a bit of a mess, isn't it? Look how spread out they are. It's not fantastic for us. Let's go. This should be a really nice charge into all these boys. Let's have a look. Yes. Hopefully to run through them, but it doesn't look like that's really done much. I mean, it's not the greatest of charges, I've got to say. Oh, although that second... Always, you've got to wait for the numbers. You've got to wait for the numbers. Well, that second little do... There really did do some nice damage. Uh, and we've got our fighters fighting through the scouts. Yeah, our infantry in this army is going to have to be replenished by mercenaries. It's really, really damaged. When they get to the point, you know, where they're down to, you know, this 26, we will then send them back for retraining, of course. Uh, we're just not going to rely on these boys. Where are, where are you? Uh, in the long run, if that makes sense. Let's go after another charge for them then. If our men are trying to trapped in there. 
I mean, the whole left flank has completely and utterly crumbled. Where is Nuzu, though? I want to kill Nuzu. There he is, Mirkwood Bodyguards. Don't think the Mirkwood Bodyguards are anything special. Don't think they're uh, terrible either, but I don't think that they are... You know, Privateer Axemen should have a nice, nice time against them. Yeah, some of these units will have to go back for retraining very soon. Uh, but, you know, we've got time for that. Like I say, we're going to just replenish this army with, uh, with as many mercenaries as we can get. So, what do we want to do here? Where do we want our cavalry to go? Because, like, pretty much their middle has just crumbled as well. Like, their infantry is gone. So, it's literally just fighting the rest of the stragglers in terms of the archers. That's Dolgador archers there as well. And their general. I have no idea where he is. Where's he gone now? He was, like, it looks like he should be there, but that apparently is archers. So I have no idea what's going on with that. It's really hard to charge these guys in the in the, the mixed-out formation, which should, in fact, in real life, that formation would be so easy to charge through and kill many, many, many people. But it seems like in-game it just doesn't really work that way. Uh, how are we doing then now? All right, let's keep coming forward. We've got all of these guys pretty much killed. How are the archers doing? Let's bring the archers. So let's ungroup them and let's just bring them forward so they can get some good shots on the new troops. They've got the wags coming. So uh, do we want to... I don't think we really want to deal with those wags right now with our damaged men. I think we want to kind of... Uh, is it only one unit of wags? I thought it was two then. It very much looks like two. So I think we turn and charge... Not going to be the greatest charge, but Edwardin really should do some damage here. Really do some damage. Same as the Privateer, boys. Let's go. You guys get in there for now. Come on, guys. Get in there. Don't let them fire their goddamn javies at you. That's a terrible, terrible thing to happen. Now, where the hell is Nuzu? There he is. He was fighting archers. What a fool. Where are those javies? Oh, no. It's not javies there, is it? Come on, boys. Hopefully this, this cavalry unit doesn't die because it's got nice experience. So let's get them out. And let's kill the rest of the wargs. That should be their captain as well. You guys should actually go after these archers because these guys will finish these guys off very quickly. Come on. Kill the wargs. They shouldn't be able to just run through you like that. Kill them. Kill them. Very nice. Uh, you get off the battlefield. Come on, kill these fools. Not in that. Let's go, charge, run. Run after them. Let's kill those Dolgador scouts. Still got our archers firing away. Apparently these uh, privateer axemen are getting shredded by the wargs. Which is very weird. There we are, another general down. Very nice. That's what we like to see. That should make these guys run. And as usual... Let's get killing as many as we can. Just absolutely shred them, elves. Come on. This is what you were made for. Killing orcs. Killing orcs. That's what we like to see. Let's go. Bang. 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 Straight in there. Straight in there. That's got to rout them, surely. Yeah, broken. Broken. What else have we got? Got these fools. There we are. Let's continue and make sure we try and kill as many as we can. Um, but yeah, I think we're going to do quite a good job of mopping these guys up. And we've killed... How many have we killed? 96% apparently. That should be enough to take over the city. Come on, Edwardin. Get a bit of speed on, my friend. Now kill him. There we are. That's better. It's a better way to do it, isn't it? They really struggle with chasing some of these units down. But I think that will be okay. So let's exit the battle. Heroic victory. Oh my day. <laughs> Oh, we killed 3,000 men. 3,000. Pretty nice. I will see you back on the campaign map, guys. Well, here we are. And what do we do with Orc Scam? Of course. Execute once again. Ah, they've gone after Burr Alga, but honestly, could not care less. I'm just absolutely ravaging their lands right now. <laughs> oh, it is so annoying that they just send loads of little shitty little uh, armies around to try and fight 
At least the elves are sending some people round, though. That's quite good. And Erin Runan is an elvish settlement, but it's Darwinian now. We all know elves. Go after the other one, and that'll be quite good. Because uh, that'll mean that they're not going to come after me, maybe. They might go after the elves instead. But we are the player. So, you know, <laughs> they love to go after the player. It still wants to put that in Buralga. No idea why. Um, well, I'm thinking this is actually a really nice little settlement. Got quite a lot of things in here. Uh, we've got a blacksmith as well. Practice range, we don't need that. War breeder, we don't need that. Not the ballista maker either. Brawler's pit, we definitely don't need that. Uh, Grog hut, we can take. I think we got any. We got one percent Northmen here. Oh wow, great! It's got a lot of a lot of people in this settlement as well. Uh, but I think honestly, yes, let's leave straight away if we can. We can, and I, I will actually. Even though uh, you know I'm saying that I don't care about Beralga, I think I do. I think I do. For now, anyway, I think I do. So yeah, let's go see. Karasant got the Avari Barracks. Very nice to see. I think next thing obvious here will be the Master Mason's Hall before going for the shipwright. But now that we have got that, let's get all our elven troops queued up. So that we can replenish the unit pool straight away. Santam, we got the Master Mason's Hall, which is very good. I'm wondering whether... Yeah, let's go straight in for the blacksmith, potentially. Yeah, that's the best thing that can help us out right now. Bur Emericus, I think the roads. Uh, how are we doing? Oh, we got a lot of Northmen in here. Uh, I think the roads are still a really good idea. 4,500 as well. Not too bad. Mataram. Let's go for something cheap. So that we've got a little bit of cash left over. So let's go for the Herbalist. Because I do want to check if we are building everywhere. Apart from, obviously... Okay, so we're not building a Wintirian Yar, which, yeah, there's a few places we're not building, which we could be building. Uh, I mean, honestly, the best thing for us to build right now will probably be the meeting hall at Wintirian Yar, so we can get this guy free upkeep, because he'll be costing us a little bit of upkeep overall. And now we can accept this at Buralga. Why they want to go for that at Buralga, yes, I have absolutely no idea. Probably Captain Snagger will go after Erin er er Runan. But what I'm really hoping is... <gasps> oh, yes. Nice, 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 nice. The elves actually have some good troops on the way. I'm hoping the elves will come and kill them. But it's probably unlikely. They'll probably just go straight for Erin Rune and take it back. But even if they do that, that's fine. I do just want to keep Burrell because we don't want to be so isolated. We want a nice little uh, little run of uh, land, don't we, of course? So you guys go up there. Strondost, you're retraining them and recruiting some others. Santan we nothing we can recruit. How's Mornithel doing? Yeah, you're building the Thorn Barracks. Good. One more turn until that's done. You're going back up to Strondos for retraining. Going to be a while before you can get retrained, though. Right, can you guys finally reach Avalyn's Rest? No, you can't. Jesus Christ. How long is it going to take? It takes so long. God damn it, man. Uh, right, Norway, though. Let's get you up to Austin Eri. Smash a few siege rams in there. When I say a few, about a thousand. Um, I don't think we're going to auto-resolve that just because... Of what happened last time when we auto-resolved. So let's press the end turn. And uh, let's keep going. We've got spies and that moving around. We've got some more reinforcements coming down, of course. Very nice indeed. Uh, but yeah, I'm hoping we can get Austinary and Varfest very quickly. And that'll stop all the incursions into Mataram. Uh, and all that sort of area. Um, yeah, and Emmerhearth. Yeah, that'll really stop them. Because... <sighs> It's just annoying. Honestly, these little, like, three-stack armies that go around and take settlements is just purely just so annoying. Like, it's not it's not hard to deal with. It's just really, really annoying. So, oh, well, that's quite good. They didn't go for the settlement. They went for us instead. Uh, and I'm quite happy with that, honestly. Captain Snagger. Captain Slave is here. I don't know how he became the captain, but okay. 
Uh, Goblin Stalkers. Mirkwood Oryx. These are actually a decent defensive unit. Not great in attack, but decent defensive unit. They've actually got very few archers apart from these Goblin Stalkers. Bonus Fighting Cav... Oh, no, they're uh, Javi Troops. They're actually a decent Javi unit, to be honest, for Morgul Scam or Goblin Scam. But let's fight these guys in the forest again. Here we are. And looks like we've got a tiny bit of a hill. Well, not a tiny bit of a hill. A decent bit of a hill. To be honest, which is great for us. Get all our archery boys up here. There you are. And, oh, look at some of these units. Yeah, the the uh, the infantry is, is truly, truly devastated right now. We're going to have to get the standard boys in the line as well now. Oh, look that that is a thin thin line we probably should have recruited some more but we just rely on our cavalry to do well don't we and we do have our privateer axemen we should, probably should have got some more uh, mercenaries to be honest but what can you do all our boys are, are already well three of our boys are already firing which is good these, these guys are just epic aren't they just look how good they look they look fantastic the Dorwinian Elven Boys. Very nice indeed. Nice. I don't really think the Scouts are the good option. I think the Maulers, they're going to pose more of a threat. Just any, yeah, the Mirkwood Oryx as well. Let's get some of those. Dolgador Host, you fire at them. When will they be able to fire the crossbows? Oh, they have so... Look how rubbish their range is. There! That is your range here. That's so, so close. All the way to there. Wow. The blister's firing away already. Oh, he's going for my Moriquendi protectors. That's not a target that I'm very happy about you going for, to be honest. <laughs> Where's my Avari Naharim? These guys are kind of out of the way. Well, I think we've got a target for you, haven't we? Okay, that one missed at least. Good. Right, crossbows, are you already firing? Good, now you can actually fire more Orc Maulers on this side and on this side. Let's fire at the Dolgador host. You guys in Spearwall? Yes, you are. Not bothered too much about the Stalkers, more about the infantry, because that, obviously, long term, that's going to do so much more damage. Mercred Oryx already getting a bit of a damage. Avari Spearman, where, where's my Avari Naharim? I, I can't see them. Uh, where's their Ballista? Well, let's, uh, let's get into him. We've got 90 men still, which is quite a lot. Or 90 orcs. 90 filthy orcs. Looks like they're turning around. I don't know what they're doing. Come on, men. Get the charge off. Not really doing much damage with your bows, are you? To be honest, guys. Oof, they're absolutely flinging the jabbies into our men right now. Nice. We're getting shot at by someone else. Who's shooting their own ballista. But they're already shaken. Come on, boys. Out. I don't know why you ran that way. Why are you running this way? I pressed over here. The is very much in our favor. I don't know where you're going. Where are you going? That's 100% not where I pressed. You idiots. <laughs> God damn. Sometimes the pathing, man, really does piss you off. Uh, the maulers are coming now. We're going to have to get our Privateer Axemen around. Where's our Cav? I think this side's going to be the side to be. Look how much they're going for it on this side. They always tend to avoid the Moriquendi Protectors, which obviously is very intelligent by them, to be honest. Oh, the Avari Naharim. Let's just check. You not quite made them run yet. Well, that's fine. Uh, you guys. And let's get in there. Wavering already. What's, what's making you waver so much? You guys, if you can, fire at the Mirkwood Oryx. Let's get all our, our, our archers firing at the Mirkwood Oryx if they can. All of you on guard mode as well. Forgot to do that last battle. Wait, the, the Orc Maulers just completely crumbled. Well, let's give, him, give chase a little bit. Yeah, the Mirkwood Oryx are getting shredded. Right, let's go after that Ballista one more time. And it hopefully should be dead this time. Where are you guys going? Like, why does only, like, a couple of you charge? 
God, their morale, the Orcs' morale, though. Whatever, whatever happens, like, with everything else, their morale is just horrendous. Horrendous morale. <laughs> so bad. How many have they got left? I don't think they've got many. So let's give them a charge. You guys can come down and fight. The Merkwadoric should be getting shredded now. By our glorious archers. These guys are already wavering. <laughs> yes, shaken. Come on, boys. Straight through. Only half the enemy force remains. Dolgador scouts wavering. You should all be firing on the Merkwadoric if you can. I don't know whether all of you can. Have we got this ballista to run yet? No, but there's only six of them left, so. Oh, we've got the Merkwood Goblins in here now, though. So let's get out. I did not realize that. <laughs> it's so hard to see in the trees. Oh, these Merkwood Oryx are fully, fully, fully goners. Look at them. They've nearly all died already. All right, infantry. Your job, just come and kill these uh, Merkwood Oryx if you can. And let's go mop a few of these boys up while we're waiting. So what have we got? You guys. Yeah, you guys get in there. You guys get in there. Go on. We're just charging the enemy. Just getting rid of all these so that that, that army is fully dead. The, the ballista's got to be done. How is the ballista still not... Surely they've got low morale. It's a bloody ballista. Is that Merkwood Oryx gone? I think that's their general. I'm sure of it. Well, let's go f charge the Merkwood Goblins. There we are. Kill him. Kill him. The blister's running now. Finally. Oh, arrows getting absolutely shredding those guys. Could two of you go there. How many's killed? 88. Well, we can end the battle there, then. They, we lost 100, and we killed 1,500, pretty much. Very nice. I will see you back on the campaign map, guys. Here we are, and again, what do we do with orcs? Execute once again. This army, I've got to say, at this point, is probably a little bit spent. It's maybe been overextended. I think we can maybe make it back to Rawberg with them and then try and send as many back as possible for retraining. Uh, hopefully we can get to Bur Alga and, and, you know, um, relieve the siege. But Erin Runen this time. Uh, where's Erin? I mean, why does it always seem to be the new settlements? I mean, it's pointless. Like, why would I accept this? No. No, 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 no. Ah, oh, dearie me. So Strondos got the way station. I think that just means I can retrain some mercenaries in there now. Uh, Naberka got the herbalist. I mean, there's no point in getting militia of garrison on Naberka, is there? Emma Half got the communal thingy. That's fine. We'll, uh, we'll have a look at that in a second. These guys, gold, gold. Gold armored vineyard levies for the boys. Well, let's go. Got a few faction announcements. Whoops, didn't mean to press on that. Faction announcements. End of turn report. We are now second in production, fourth in population, but 18th in military still. Wow. The AI likes to recruit those boys, doesn't it? Uh, so, Karasant, we are recruiting. How about Santanwi? How's it looking for recruitment at Santanwi? I think we can afford to send one of these boys up here as well. Uh, uh, eight turns until we get the good boys. Two turns until we get them. I think it's definitely worth recruiting a cavalry while we can as well. Uh, right. Let's make sure Edwardin does keep coming back. For Captain Azurum. Who's he going to fight? Vineyard Bowman. Not great. Not really going to be able to defend that, are we? Right. Let's have a look at what's in here. I mean... I'm going to risk it. 53. Honestly, not upset about losing 53. Austin Erie. 
Let's get that in there straight away. We've still got the mines. Have they built anything that we don't like? No. Well, that's good. That needs repairing straight away. You can recruit uh, that one of them, apparently. Let's get rid of the vineyard the bloke. Yes. And let's just go... Oh, hello. Gan Alton has really... Oh, my I'm God. There's some... I think we stay in Austin area right now, guys. <laughs> with Gan Alton and a Captain Lug with his trolls. Honestly, think that's a really good idea to stay there. Um... Yeah. <laughs> Don't really want to fight that. In terms of our second army, uh, well, third army, should I say. Four units there. Five, six. We've got a general. So that's seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Sixteen getting recruited there. Seventeen, eighteen. We just need two more units. And we'll have another full stack. So... Any other units that are in here that we really want? I mean, Thorn Guard are always... I mean, yeah, let's, let's just smash in some cavalry, shall we? Let's do it in Strondost if we have access to it. No, we don't. So, let's smash in two cavalry there. 100% going to be useful. Really useful, indeed. Right, let's have a look at where we can build. Strondost we can build in. Let's go for that Master Mason's Hall. I think that's definitely worth it. Enmahath. Ah, and my half, I'm not too sure. Let's go for the herbalist. And Mornathel, I'm not sure. Maybe, let's go for the trading post in Mornathel. No, we're going for the barracks. What am I talking about? Uh, where is the barracks? Do I need a meeting hall for the next barracks? Probably, so let's get the meeting hall in there. Elgaia has just upgraded, I believe. Can now get the armorer. It's all the way over there, though, so not really any point in building the armor of that. Uh, but let's go for the herbalist. And Elgaia. Yeah, Lest. What are we building? I think we go for the, the Mason's Guild House. And then the rest of them, unfortunately, just not going to be able to build in just yet. But yeah, I definitely think we uh, <laughs> we wait in Austin Airy to get Siege down, because surely Captain you. Lug and Gan Alton have been sent to take out Norway. Great Norway. The Unstoppable. That is his name now. <laughs> Norway the Unstoppable. Uh, yeah, surely they've been sent out to deal with old Norway. Yes. Right, let's uh, end the turn. Oh yeah, we've got to accept this. <laughs> and let's end the turn and see what happens. Dolgador's not actually not very protected right now. Um, and then maybe in Mordor we can make an advance next turn, but we shall see. Hopefully Mordor does come after Austin area. That'd be nice to destroy a couple of armies in a siege with our pretty nice Norway army. We'll get a lot of shots off on them. It's, uh, the problem is Austin area is just these these settlements are not that defensible compared to say a Gondor castle or a Gondor settlement. Um, you know, Rohan settlements are not great either. Uh, but yeah, Darwinian type ones are not fantastic. So yeah, it's yeah, it's not great really uh, defending these settlements. You really don't get to do a lot of damage, mainly because at the minute it seems like there's a distinct lack of ballista towers, if I'm right. Um, but yeah, just archer towers for a lot of these settlements, which is not good. Now Erin Runen again. So they're still sieging down Beralga. That's great for us. Uh, and we can kill them. So let's do that in a second. But let's see what, what else we've got. So Carverad got the Master Mason's Hall. I think it's definitely worth at this point to build those roads. Wintirian Yar. Uh, let's go for the chicken farming. It's quite expensive, but it'll be fine. Erin Runa got the Standing Stones. Let's build the trading post because it's cheap. <laughs> And Austin Airy, yeah, we're building the Sanding Stones, but how are those... There, they, they are converging on Austin Airy. Look at that. Here they come. Here they come. That is going to be a big battle next episode. Uh, it's going to be kind of scary, but it'll be fine. You guys on the way to Santanwi. Same with you. You might as well join up. Uh, you've got a couple more people getting trained, haven't you? Uh, 
and then what else do we have available to us? You need to get into Strondos. Don't think it's... Yeah, I don't think you're going to be able to get retrained for quite some time. Double gold experience for one of the Bladesmen, though. Very nice to see that. And we shall wait for our reinforcements down in the south before we do anything more there. Um, do we send the Moriquendis on the way? I don't think so. I think we're okay. This is a pretty decent army. In terms of archers, though, it's not that great. There's there's only the Avari Shadows. There's no way, to be fair. These guys have Javis. Uh, but apart from that, it's not a massively armor... Uh, Archer-based army. It's more of an infantry-based army. But that isn't a problem. That's fine. Yes. Right. Let's do this. Sh oh. Shit. I did not mean to do that. But we only lost 64 anyway. I meant to press actually play that. I thought we just lost then. Oh. Well, I'm glad we didn't lose anyway. <laughs> That's all I can say. Right. Let's go for Rawberg. And then when we're done with Rawberg, we shall move on to back to Santamwi for retraining with that army. And just hope that we've got enough to settle us down. Right, what else do we have? We got a bit of money from that. So I'm thinking maybe communal farming there. And then Vilta, probably the same. Although the militia garrison would be very nice because it is on the front line right now. Honestly, Burr Alga should get the Militia Garrison. Oh, it is. Good. Honestly, Erin Runen, that's what you should go for. So that we can actually defend these places. Now we can't get it in Vilta, but that's fine. Let's go for the communal farming instead. Uh, and we're pretty much building everywhere now, apart from the one place that it's pointless to build a Militia Garrison. So, <laughs> But I think we're going to end it there, guys. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, please do like and subscribe. All that good stuff. It really does help the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next video.